everything most people can ever give or offer in this community. Na Toto and Yash. Yash and preach. That's not the only thing they get. So all these people that don't have any other thing to offer, what do you expect them to bring to the table? So that is why the definition of love, that sacrifice you talked about, is sex. Welcome to one of your best shows on air. We are the best anywhere in the world. Bigger than the best, hotter than the hottest, badder than the baddest. And welcome to All Talk. And today on All Talk, going into the topic directly, they said there is no love in this community. You are loveless, community members. You show no love. They are night. Community members complain, where is the love? Like the Black IP song says, we have a spell love. And I'm always joined by Chime Vize, Harry Aruna, and I'm your host, my brother, Sacha Fikilichi. Chime Vize, is there any love? We have a spell love. Uh, to be honest, it depends on our definition of love. Like, I was having this conversation with someone, and I was like, love means different things to different people. Why growing up, my father's understanding of love or my father's love language was provided. So he felt like if I paid your school fees, gave you a shelter, gave you money for clothes and food you're eating, that was his definition of love. So I feel in this community, the definition of love is sex. And don't get me wrong. That is the definition of love in this community. So most people feel, okay, because we have sex with you, we, we, we then have a bond, and that is our definition of love. But I feel we should now start redefining, rebranding, restructuring a lot of things in the Nigerian LGBTQ community because we have always had a different language which is not being accepted, traumas, and we have been become so defensive about everything. So our attitude now is bushy, raz, you know, stomping on people and everything. But I feel that there is still a new avenue for love in this community. We can still define love the way we choose. Can I just add quickly that for me, first of all, I believe that sex is love making. Yes, yes. That, that, that is where the love is. Making of the love. You are, you, it's just like saying baking cake. You are in the process of baking cake. That is why I say when you have sex, then you have the bond and begin to show those affection, most likely in this community. But that should not be so. You don't need to sleep with everybody. You don't need to have sex with everybody to define or have a bond with people. We need to still have a new way of redefining our community by redefining That's love. Love making. But at that being said, to me, if you ask me, I don't believe there's love in this community. No love, no love, nothing like love. What they care about is sex, 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 money, 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 materialistic thing. I want to use an iPhone. I want to use this. I want to, and finally, for those that are frustrated and lonely, relationship too. And I need a relationship. I need a relationship now. No love, no channel of love, nothing like love, nothing special. But, what, but what's your definition of love? What do you define as love? Is when two people join to become one. That's my definition. When two people can come together, become one. When I know, when I see, like, for example, let's use me and you, for example. When I know, when I see my brothers, I see Chim Mirizi, they have the same goals, the same ideology. They want to build an empire together. They are very, very homely. They are inseparable. They are together. They never get tired of each other. Even to me, I feel like they, they just join together. When two people become one, that's basically the ground with me. When I see two people, come together to become one, despite the characters, despite their backgrounds, despite everything, sacrificing it all and saying want to be one. And I said, they are one. That nobody you can see, do. The key, the key word from what you said is sacrificing. Not everybody wants to sacrifice. Because what, so if I'm sacrificing, what am I benefiting from that sacrifice? And that is where the sex comes in. So because everybody in this, I'm coming, 
because everybody in this community wants okay. something in exchange and the only thing in short the only thing most people can ever give or offer in this community na toto and yash yash and preach that's not the only thing they get so all these people that don't have any other thing to offer what do you expect them to bring to the table so that is why the definition of love that sacrifice you talked about is sex normally it's not even supposed to be in that way it's not even supposed to come in that direction but that's the way we position ourselves and that's what looks like oh that's the best way but that's the best thing you can get out of it to don't deceive yourself this and that and that's why i get i get offended when people feel like because you sacrifice you must gain something in return yes i always agree a relationship is a two-way thing but sometimes coming to it with an open mind that as long as so people will say that as long as he loves me as long as then it's enough but some people come into it and be like, what do I want to gain? And because of that, people have programmed what they want to gain in their own minds. Darling, I can challenge you anytime, any day. Any love without sacrifice, without gaining anything, is a meaningless, stupidless love. Even God said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. If you are not giving in that definition of your love, it is a useless, meaningless love. Because when I say I love you, I cannot love you and you don't have a place to sleep. I have to sacrifice. I have to be able to sacrifice my speech to provide you shelter, to provide me shelter, to provide you food, to provide me food, to provide basic things for us, to be of benefit. Our friendship, our relationship has to have value. And putting value in relationship is putting worth. So any relationship that is aimless, sacrificeless, valueless, it's not worthy to even be called love. The thing in this community is that we don't, we are scared to sacrifice for people because people are not also ready to put the same energy back towards us. If we are able to reciprocate, then it will then become a genuine love. Everybody will be willing to sacrifice. That's it for me. So not to make this hot up too long, but I'm pissed off. Thank you very much. Now, then final words for me is that I agree with the sacrifice, but what I, what I was getting to, if I was cut short, was how do you measure the sacrifice? That's why I said that people should come into a relationship without that, oh, I'm coming to get mindset. Because what you might expect be expecting to get is something that the person might not be, expect, uh, be able to give. I've seen BTMs where their tops are not cheating, they put their interests first, they are loving towards them, they listen to them, but because the, the top does not have money to spend or to throw around, they will say, well, it's not doing enough, it's not sacrificial, and before you know, they pick up with the top. I've also met tops too, who the BTM come, very loyal, very supportive, very humble, but because they can't cook, they will say, oh, this person is not homely. Because the person can't clean, they'll say it's not homely. Sometimes some tops, the top will come, and the bottom will come, can clean, can cook, very homely, but because the bottom doesn't have money, or it's not having a job, to say, oh, it's not uh, industrious, you know, it's not, uh, I need someone that's industrious, I need someone that's up to my level, I need someone that can, as I'm thinking, that we're both independent, working class, expectation, expectation, expectations, always expecting and calling it sacrifice. There's a difference between sacrifice and just outright self-entitlement. Just outright bloody self-entitlement and that's what we should draw the line and that's what should know when uh, she's okay fine you can sacrifice this but we should also know that you cannot force the issue of self-entitlement down people's streets that's all for this offering of hot stock can i just add something before we close this is something i and my brother had this conversation so i uh, just wrapping up wrapping up allow me to speak so i and my brother had this conversation and you know when i come back i make sure that i give him and he made food and he didn't give me. And I was like, but why didn't you give me food? Right? And he was like, oh, I didn't know you eat noodles. I, I never knew it was just one noodles. And I was like, it doesn't matter the numbers of noodles or how much that value for thing, even if it's a dollar, hundred naira, one naira. I feel the most important thing is being able to sacrifice that little in respect. If you don't need to have much, you don't need to have everything. But if you find someone in your life who sacrificed a little for you, stick and that's it that's it from our end i swear that's the last one <laughs> guys and please don't forget to subscribe thank you